Welcome Spraylock Nation, concrete gurus, concrete neophytes, concrete lovers of all things Concretia. A little bit over the top there, Josh. A little bit over the top? Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Well, was I it neophytes? Too. Neophytes it made me pause and think a minute. What What is he talking about? Well, it's somebody new to a, to a new skill. Oh, okay. And I'm hoping that we're reaching out to neophytes and, and get him in, much like Padawans. Oh, okay. I, I, I got, what are we talking about today? <laughs> <laughs> Concrete. Of course. Well, I thought that was obvious. I don't know why you would ask me that. Uh, it's Portland specifically, cement concrete. Yes, not the uh, the other concrete, <clears throat> like cakes. Um, so today, let's talk about testing. Okay. And we've ran a lot of tests. We ran, you know, hardened test and, and and fresh concrete tests. But of all the tests that you've ever ran, what's the shortest one? Shortest? Yes. I would have to say probably temperature. No. Compressed strength, because it's compressed. Come on. Oh. You know good well we'll do. <laughs> we got to have that compression. That's great. So you compression know, strength is the topic today? Is yes. That what it's, it's much like one of our favorite songs, Under Pressure. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. No. Dun, no, dun, no, dun, no, dun. no, 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 you cannot. <laughs> okay. No. Whole yeah, copyright we'll, we'll thing get, going on. Yeah, we'll get I, flagged. We can say the name, but we can't. Oh, okay. Yes, we don't, don't, let's not go there. So compressive strength, why is it important? Because base of design. Basis of payment from a ready mix side. But yeah. a lot of things, you know, it's really important to make sure you're doing things right because they're making decisions based on is this building going to hold up or the parking structure going to hold up? <clears throat> can they strip forms? Can they load things? So you want to make sure that they want that these things are done right and testing of it. I mean, curing a side, testing of it while it's very easy, still need to be done correctly. Sure. And so take us through the compressive strength test if you don't care. How is it, how is it done? Real easy. What you want to do is get your sample, 4 by 8 6 by 12 or concrete core. You want to check both ends for planeless, because if you don't, you might have to cap it or saw it. And if you're there with intolerance, you can use neoprene pad caps. Mm -hmm. Put it in, load put, it. Put it in the machine. Put it in the machine. It's a hydraulic ram, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I just want to make sure I was following you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Not a Dodge Ram, hydraulic, hydraulic ram. Hydraulic yes. ram, yes. yes. Uh, put it in the machine. Make sure you check for perpendicularity because you don't want it offset. You want to make sure you got it in right. Center it so you want to load it properly. Yeah. Because if you get a side load, you can get some weird breaks going on. You don't want that either. So you want to load the whole cylinder. Yes. You want to load it to the prescribed time duration that you got to and speed on it. That's in the it's ASTM, ASTM test standard method. for it. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Because you don't want to just flop. Put it on high, and let it go. You want to make sure you're loading this thing yeah, at the this, right rate. This is not one of those one of those videos that like crushing a clock in a hydraulic ram. And no, what, no, yeah, no, this no, is, no. This is a real test that means real things. If we get yes, and if you do these things wrong, you know you could be looking at tearing a lot of concrete for absolutely no reason because you didn't do your due diligence. So you want to load it at the very end of it. You gonna get a high peak number. Yes. You want to divide that by the cross sectional area of the cylinder, and that gives you a psi. Pounds per square inch. Pounds per square inch. Compressive strength. Or MPA, depending on if or, you're yeah. if you're our, our European friends or others outside the U.S. Excellent. And that's uh, also denoted as F prime sub C. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like throwing curveballs. You know that. So, uh, is it fun? Always. Yeah, but when is it the most fun? Oh, when you get a really high strength concrete. Yeah. And those you're not expecting. I mean, I've had one that... We were breaking it at 365 days. So I had a 400,000 pound load. And by the way, when those things break, they make a lot of noise. Oh yeah. But this one, we were pushing capacity and it actually lifted the ram up and set it on its side. Oh man, I bet that wasn't cheap to fix. No, no, it was about 11 grand. <laughs> Ouch. So yeah, it can be fun, but at the same time, compressive strength is, is critically important to do properly um, because there's so much riding on it. It is the design basis of design. It is the basis of purchase for the ReadyMix company, all of those things. So we hope you've enjoyed today's video. We like to uh, joke around, but uh, compressive strength is a serious topic that uh, small things can make it go wrong in a hurry. So let's pay attention out there and We'll try to do the same in our lab and make sure we get good breaks. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and check us out on the next video.